What's up guys, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is I, the one and only OP Skills. Now, before I before we get into today's Let's Play, uh, I wanted to give a big shout out and a huge apology to my good friend, Adep Gaming. Uh, I promised him, like, shit, probably several weeks back that I would give him a shout out. I know some of you guys that are subscribed to me and watch my videos have already checked him out, but for those of you who haven't, definitely go check him out. He does a lot better than I do. Uh, at least, uh, you know, I had video editing and all that stuff. He has a lot more access to a lot more stuff than what I do, so definitely go check him out. There was his uh, top five most viewed uh, videos in April, and then there was, uh, he did Slither.io. I also did that, so anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time. Go check him out. He does really, really good, and uh, he deserves way more views, so... Without further ado, let's get on with the video. What's up, guys? So today I am going to be playing some Bio Ink. Now this is kind of this is really similar to Plague Ink. The only difference is instead of doing the entire population of the Earth um, and trying to kill it off, you're basically trying to create a deadly. Uh, virus or 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 sickness that you know you can use um to kill a specific person so let's go ahead and get right into it we'll click play game i've already played a little bit of this just to get you know a feel for it and all that good stuff so let's see uh internship um and then you can actually uh later and you're gonna actually choose like your stages, like choose the type of person you want to try to infect. Like, for example, you can choose the someone that is unhealthy, meaning that they're overweight, sedentary, and they're also addicted to junk food and they're a smoker. Um, or you can pick a hypochondriac or an unstable person, which means their health is very unstable. I'm gonna go ahead and do unhealthy for this play playthrough. And you can actually name your victim also, so let's go to OP skills. I have to kill myself. <laughs> I have to infect myself. OP skills. Alright, there we go. And you can uh, choose the difficulty, so I'm going to go ahead and we get pick um, mild. And select boosters. Now these are boosters. You can select a booster for each of the categories below. Tap the category icon to select a booster. Now basically what these do is they just kind of help you uh, infect the, the person that you're infecting. Um, and they kind of fight back against certain things. So economy, these boosters help you gain more bio points. Uh, disease boosters help you build strong diseases. Risk factors, basically, they you know they in, improve the the way risk factors behave and things. Recovery hel helps you fight against you don't know no, you know recovery you know keeps the doctors from finding a cure quicker. And then environment boosters affect the general settings of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and get recovery. And uh, you can get fewer drugs, uh, longer longer strikes, reduced recovery, lucky recovery, or recovery breaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get uh, fewer drugs. And uh, let's go. All right, let's start game. And uh, now over here on the on the left hand side here, you've got your all your different systems that you can you know infect skeletal, digestive, renal, muscular, nervous, respiratory, and circulatory. So uh, what you what you really have to do is you have to try to you get these bio points and you can use these bio points to actually infect uh, different parts of the of the of the body, like different systems of the body and the and such. So I think what now I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, I'm gonna do his nervous system. And then the first one being stress, and uh, and uh, let's keep on going from here. Apparently I can't 
uh, speed this up any, so that's kind of depressing. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We'll just have to do this a uh, different way, then. And respiratory. And all these different, you know, all these different things that pop up in the different bodily systems, these are all where you're, you know, where you're getting your bio points from. So if you, um, when you plague, plague, ink, plague, ink, uh, the different like countries you would infect and the DNA points you would gather, it kind of works the same way here. Only you know you're only doing it to a, you're doing it to a, uh, one particular individual rather than you know the entire planetary uh, population. All right now I got 15 bio points, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the next step up, and that is chronic stress and nervous breakdowns and then the next step will be dementia all right now as you progress the uh the virus you can actually see it spreading in the uh particular system that you chose it'll start to look you know kind of more uh more and more unhealthy Risk factor workaholic has evolved. OPCOs is now a workaholic and works over 60 hours a week. Holy shit. Alright, now see right there, as you can see, kind of like it just, that brown patch popped up there. You can obviously, you can tell, you know, which area you're, you know, you're infecting tends to get, grow more and more unhealthy, you know, as you, the more and more you infect the virus. And I got 12 bio points, so we're going to go ahead and go the next step up from there. And that would be dementia. And then next would be burnout. Job burnout is a special type of job stress, a state of physical emotion or mental exhaustion combined with doubts about your competence and the value of your work. OP skills is going crazy! circulatory all right now and also also these uh these percentages tells you uh you know how badly uh how unhealthy the different systems are so symptoms are worsening op skills is going to visit the doctor the doctor will now investigate the symptoms and treat his illness so this is where things start to get interesting now uh as i was saying these uh, percentages actually tell you the percentage of how healthy the body is. The lower the percentage, the worse it is. And uh, as you can see right now, his, ner uh, his nervous system is almost all the way down. It's about halfway now. Which means that his nervous system is almost completely and, uh, and utterly unhealthy. And now we have the recovery percentage down down there in the bottom now. So what we have to try and do now is kind of like fighting a cure in Plague Inc. We just kind of have to try to fight his fight against his recovery. And to do that, I'm going to up the next one. And that's burnout and then major depression will be the next one uh, at 23 bio points. Yep, all right, now his nervous system is completely down to halfway, and it's climb it's going downhill pretty fast now since I got that new upgrade, uh, as well as his digestive and circulatory. Now, one of the things about his nervous, about the nervous system is if you infect the nervous system first, everything else will kind of go downhill with it, just because the nervous system is like your central system for pretty much your entire body. So if you infect that, everything will kind of follow in its in its path. So, all right, guys. So we've just been rushed to the emergency room. Recovery effort is at 19%. I have 17 <clears throat> bio points now. Apart from the disease upgrades and stuff, you can actually use risk factors which uh, increases the overall unhealthiness. So, for example, you've got heredity, 
which means that what he has wrong with him it can actually be passed down to you know his children and things like that uh, obesity over 60 years old unlucky just a person who is generally unlucky an alcoholic and then you know we've got a smoker workaholic sedentary which means basically means he's kind of a couch potato malnutrition uh he's also addicted to junk food and he's already overweight so uh we've already got those factoring into it i'm gonna use my uh 17 bio points and get bad doctors and i'll probably get placebos next after that so that'll be about 10 well not about 10 it'll be 10 uh, bio points and as you can see, his nervous system is actually completely uh, gone. It's almost completely shut down. As well as uh, everything else, which is deteriorating quickly. And then obviously you guys can see how generally unhealthy that looks. Uh, it just looks really bad. It looks like shit. Now as time goes by, the, the little shield that's up there on the top right corner, that's actually his immune system that will drain as time goes by. And the the wor the more that drains, the uh, the quicker the the quicker basically the quicker he dies basically, to put it bluntly. Now I got 22, so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, nurses on strike and placebos. OP skills is now consuming placebos, and the nurses are on strike. All right now, the nervous system, it's gone. It's completely shut down. Everything else should pretty quickly follow now. Uh, LP skills will be in exposed to now. No. He's, he's already dying anyway. Uh, all right. And look, there's the skeletal, uh, skeletal system. That looks, that looks so bad. Alright guys, so we are almost there. Almost everything is completely shut down. His entire body is pretty much gone. And, yep, there we go. Everything shut down. You win. Stage 1, unhealthy. OP skills died in 204 days. Time of death is November 29, 2016 at 10.44 a.m. Cause of death, burnout. So... That's pretty much it, guys. It's a pretty simple game, but it's really, really fun. So, if you guys want...